I'm Boy George. I'm Scarlett Douglas. I'm Chris Miles. I'm Sue Cleaver. Hi, I'm Mike Tyndall. Hi, I'm Charlene White. My name is Owen Warner. I'm Jill Scott. My name is Baba Tunde Aleshe. I'm Olivia Atwood, and you probably know me from Love Island. I do think with reality TV people in general, there is a preconceived idea that we're work shy, lacking probably in the brains department. And I'm going to confirm that. <laughs> I am a stand-up comedian. People might know me from Celebrity Gogglebox. I am famous for kicking a ball around for England. Probably known best for being part of the England Rugby World Cup winning team. I'm a TV presenter, mostly known for Place in the Sun and Worst House on the Street. You might know me for playing Romeo Nightingale on Hollyoaks. I'm playing Eileen in Coronation Street. I'm best known for presenting ITV News and Loose Women. I'm Chris Miles of the radio, innit? I'm a musician. I'm a singer. I'm bored of sitting in the corner being iconic. <laughs> if I'm a celebrity calls to say, do you want to go in the jungle? I don't feel like you can say no. I'm absolutely buzzing. 12 year old me is going to be pinching himself. Why am I going in the jungle is a really good question because I have no idea. Yes, I did prepare. I ordered a treadmill in two months ago and I've been on it once. <laughs> I have a lot of fears I need to conquer, I'll be honest. I'm scared of everything. I feel like anything in a large quantity is freaky. I feel like even if I was in a room with like 80 kittens, I'd be a bit freaked out. The maggots and the water and the rats and the spiders. I mean, if one's like on my head, will you come and take it away? Huh? Like snakes are really, they ain't got legs and they can run really fast. That freaks me out. You never seen a snake run? Google, Google a snake running, that searching, it's weird. If I saw a snake, I'm crying, what? Tears! I don't care. I'm, yeah! I know I'm a screamer, but I probably wouldn't be able to scream because I don't want to open my mouth in case anything goes in there. So I'd probably be a throat screamer, you know, like a. <laughs> <laughs> Come to think of it, I'm in rock and roll. I've met a lot of snakes, a lot of rats. Lovely Chris Moyles. He's so much nicer than I thought he'd be. He's not an arsehole. <laughs> if I get bored, I can be bitchy. I might cause some trouble. I don't really like loud, loud, in your face sort of people. Maybe because I'm quite loud in your face. <laughs> that could be why I'm like, no, there's competition here. Can you back up, please? <laughs> Seeing humans in a vulnerable place, out of their comfort zone, it's going to be fascinating how we all evolve. Could be fireworks, could be perfect harmony, you just don't know. I'm still expecting there to be a little hairdressers in there that I can nip for a trim, because this, this is the thing I'm most scared about. That might be when I say I'm a celebrity, get me out of it. Like, when I see the trim getting a bit dead, I'm like, right, I'm gone. I'm not particularly an outdoorsy person, necessarily. I walked out of going to Girl Guides when I was younger because they kept making me camp. I'm looking forward to three weeks of no makeup. I've never done it in my life. None of that's going to be possible. I won't be able to work the room with a look. Whether I'm in drag or out of drag, I'm still me. You know, and I can compensate because I've got personality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, trials-wise, I would expect to be uh, heavily put forward by the rugby community. Some of the stuff on the eating trial, that looks horrible, but I do joke and say I've had my mum's lasagna, so I might be OK. She'll kill us for that. <laughs> I've never eaten camel foot before, but again, it's something that you don't do in your normal life. I don't really know what my, like, I was going to say I don't know what my anus eating skills are like. <laughs> Who's to say? Maybe pig's anus is, like, quite yummy, you know? I can't do shots on a night out, so I feel like shot in blended camel armpit or something. I might start mixing in with my protein shakes now, start adjusting the palate. I'm pretty sure I'll attempt everything, whether it stays down or not, who knows? There's going to be a moment when it dawns on me that this is real, like in a coffin full of rats if they put the lid on. But hopefully Ant and Deck, because we're fellow North East people, they might help us a little bit. Ant and Deck. I might have to pretend I support Newcastle. If people love me enough to vote me King, Queen of the Jungle, I'd be like, oh, people do love me, it's a lie, what they say. <laughs> it's only three weeks in the middle of a jungle, what could possibly go wrong. <laughs>